Timing is everything. When Sandy hit New York last year, the storm surge, which is water that's pushed up by the wind, was not the only factor in determining what areas got flooded and exactly how much. The tide also played a role. For instance, here in Battery Park, the storm surge came in during the evening hours and the water got up to about here. If the storm surge came in during the morning high tide, it would have been up to about here. And if the storm surge came in two weeks later, it would have been even higher. Now, if the storm came in during low tide, then the water would have barely covered the ground. Now that is a huge difference. Many of the neighborhoods in the southern part of the city were hit hard as well due to the storm timing and the high tide. Here in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, the water level came up to here. Now, if it came rushing through at low tide, it would have been some four feet lower. Up here at LaGuardia, it was a different story. It was at low tide, so they only had a couple feet of water. Now, of course, that did cause damage, but if Sandy had come in nine hours earlier, closer to high tide, they would have had two to three more feet of water that would have flooded terminals and the power plant in this area. So, yes, there were millions affected, but it could have been a whole lot worse. As they say, timing is everything.